everyone today we are going to see another question on lead code and that is filling bookcase shelves so first we'll read the question we have a sequence of books such that the bo ith book has thickne thickness books of i of 0 and height books of i of 1 we want to place these books in order onto bookcase shelves that uh, that have total width shelf underscore width we choose some of the books to place on this shelf such that the sum of their thickness is less than or equal to shelf underscore width. Then build another level of shelf of the bookcase so that the total height of the bookcase has increased by the maximum height of the books we just put down. We repeat, we repeat this process until there are no more books to place. Note again that each step of the above process, the order of the books we place is the same as the given sequence of books. For example, if we have an ordered list of 5 books, we might place the first and second book onto the first shelf and the third book and the second shelf or on the second shelf and the fourth and fifth book on the last shelf. We have to return the minimum possible height that the total bookshelf can be after placing shelves in this manner. So first we'll see the example that is given in the question and that is we are given a 2 cross 2 uh, multi-dimensional array and uh, the first uh, for every element of array the first element uh, represents the width and the second element represents the height of a particular book. Now we have to place them in some order. Yes, we need to, uh, we need to be very uh, attentive with the order. So the example that we are given that we have been given in the question is this 1 comma 1 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 2. Now what does these mean? These each and every element represent a book and the first value corresponds to the width of the book and the second value corresponds to the height of the book. Okay, so uh, also we are given a, a value of shelf width that is 4 in this case and that is why you would observe that none of these have uh, the width some of their widths exceeded by 4 like here you can see the width is just 1 here you can see the width is exactly 4 here you can see the width is exactly 4 so in uh, uh, there is no case where we would exceed this width limit okay so this is the width limit that is given in the question next you would see we have to return the max uh, minimum possible height that the total bookshelf can be after placing shelves in this manner in this case you can see that uh, the height is 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 that is 6 and that is why uh, we have outputted uh, we have output 6 and also uh, what we need to do is that we need to keep on thinking like if you you can observe what what is the concept in this question the concept that this question contains is that either we have to place a new num a new block near to the previous block or above the previous block right this is the concept that we are using also please note that the height of 7 is 2 and uh, we are not placing 2 in the mean space uh, we have the space of 3 here but we are not placing 2 over here right so what whatever we will be the maximum value at a particular level of shelf we would place the next books above that shelf above that height right so this is a thing that we need to keep in mind also aap log yahan pe dekh sakte hain ki hum log dynamic programming ka use karne wale hain hum log ek array declare karenge jiska naam hum dp hi rakhenge aur uski size hum log rakhenge n plus 1 why am I keeping n plus 1 because it will be easier to track the i minus 1th element and for that purpose I am going to just initialize dp of 0 to 0 okay so uh, dp of 1 actually corresponds what dp will be saving here dp will be saving that what is the minimum possible height up to that particular book okay so if I see dp of 1 so when I place first book what is the minimum height that is required? Similarly, the dp of 2 value corresponds to the fact that what is the minimum height that would be needed when we place these two books. Okay, so this will be moving. Also, please note that we have two choices here. Either to place a new block adjacent to the previous block on the same level or we need to place the new block on a new level. Okay, so these are the two, uh, two things that I'm going to keep in mind. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is that I'm just going to maintain this dp table and the last value of dp, the last value of dp will just give me my answer. Okay, so I have printed the values of dp. I've just 
run the for loop of my code and I have saved these values and I am sharing these values over here, we would observe that when just first block comes, the value of dp of 1 is 1. The value of dp of 2 gets 3 when the second block comes. Second block comes, okay? And uh, dp of 3 is 4, dp of 5, dp of, I'm sorry, dp of 2 is 4, right? And so on. Like if you see, uh, if we would have just 1, then it's fine. If we would have 1 and 2, I would not place 2 above 1. I would place 2 adjacent to 1. And that is why you would observe the answer is not 4, the answer is 3. Okay, so this code is actually helping us in that manner. And also you observe if we don't have 7, if we just have the value still 6, then my answer is just going to be 5. That is why you are observing 5, 5, 5. Why? Because 4, 5 and 6, all of them have height 1. And that is why I could have placed them right here. Okay, so that is the uh, thing that I was uh, thinking in this question. Also, this question will get more clear when we see the code. So let's move on to the code. In the code part first, I'm declaring an array uh, that is uh, that's reference is dp. And as I told earlier that I'm going to have the size equals to books dot length plus one. And uh, I'm going to initialize my zeroth uh, index of dp equals to zero. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to find dp when the block is uh, placed adjacent to the previous block and dp when the block is placed above the previous block. And I'm going to compare both of them. In which case am I getting the minimum result? That is the case that I'm going to accept. Okay, so let's move on. I'm using a for loop starting from one and uh, it's going to increment and it, it it's going to run till books dot length. Okay, and I'm uh, just having the values of width and height over here. Right. So width is, as I told, the first value of every element of array is the width and the second value is height. So we just took width and height for each of the elements of array. Uh, that means a book. And then first of all, we are finding dp of i equals to dp of i minus one plus i. That is, I am just placing it above the previous one. Matlab, ye jo 2 hai, agar mere paas 1 tha, to maine 2 ko iske upar rakh diya, aur ye wala dp of i jo hai, ye worst case hai. Jo hum chaate nahi, hum kya chaate hai, ki jitna sada adjacent mein hooga, utna kam height aana na, humko minimum height leke aana hai. But in this case, I am please, I am placing it above it. Okay, so, my worst case scenario ye hai, aur fir de, ye for loop jo hai, this for loop is going to return me, uh, is going to help me out with the case when 2 will be placed adjacent to 1. Okay, so let's see this for loop now. I'm using j equals to i minus 1 and I'm having two conditions. First is j should be greater than 0. That is self-explanatory. And another thing is that width plus books of j minus 1 of 0 should be less than or equals to shelf width. If I'm uh, placing any of the book adjacent to the previous one, I must check whether the sum of all these widths is less than or equals to shelf underscore width or not because that is the given condition in the question. We can't exceed it, right? And uh, I'm also going to decrement this j. So let's move inside this for loop. What I'm doing here is that I'm first finding, I'm first updating the value of height. That is equals to math dot max, the previous height, comma, books of j minus one and one. Uh, what I'm trying to say, let's see here. If we would have two, and one only just we have two values and i place two adjacent to one okay so if you can observe uh, the height of this level would be equal to the height of that particular element which is the greater among two that is why i am ha i am having here the math dot max function what i am saying is that ye two ko jab maine idhar rakha to aap dekh sakte hain ki one ki height hai one aur two ki height hai three so हमारा जो नया लेवल अगर आएगा वो तो वो 1 से नहीं आएगा वो 3 से आएगा है ना ये हमने यहां पे भी देखा था तो इसीलिए वी आर फाइंडिंग द मैथ डॉट मैक्स एंड सिमिलरली आई एम गोइंग टू अपडेट द वैल्यू ऑफ विड्थ बिकॉज़ आई एम प्लेसिंग दिस न्यू पर्टिकुलर बुक बिसाइड्स द प्रीवियस वन एंड दैट इज व्हाई आई एम गोइंग टू इंक्रीज द विड्थ व्हाटएवर बी द विड्थ ऑफ द न्यू बुक ओके एंड देन आई एम टू आई एम गोइंग टू फाइंड डीपीआई दैट्स आई एम जस्ट चेकिंग whether the worst case scenario is being nice or uh, keeping it adjacent is being nice. So first I calculate the worst case scenario. That means when I place new book above the first book, okay, the, that was the case uh, in which my DPI was stored. And also I'm finding DP of J minus one that is previous to this 
plus height when I'm placing it adjust into that we just made the changes over here right so I'm just comparing both of these and the uh, one with the minimum value I'm going to choose it okay so I use this system dot print ln dp of i just to uh, demonstrate you people how this code is actually working and I shared that this in the previous uh, part of the video also when this for loop completes I'm going to return the last element of dp because that is the only point which would save the minimum height that would be required by all these books right so this was all about this code but I would seriously suggest all of you to just keep uh, to just practice this question on paper and try to run it by yourself because this is just an intuition that I'm providing in this video all you could learn is by yourself in this particular question right so that was my advice to you okay